what are the Section 12J strategies run by Westbrook? So Westbrook, as I mentioned earlier, has four strategies that we, we invest through in the 12J space. Um, and each of them have clearly defined mandates of the investments that we're allowed to do within that fund. And I think I'll talk to two of them and Dina will talk to the other two. The first two is one's called Westbrook ARIA. ARIA stands for Alternative Rental Income Assets. And basically what the strategy is here is to provide growth capital to entrepreneurs or businesses where they have movable assets that can go out and operate in rental. So we really want to grow the businesses providing, by providing them with capital because generally movable assets or rental, rental businesses require a lot of capital to purchase the asset. So we want to partner with them there to grow that side of their business. What's nice about the strategy is our partners understand the assets, we have the capital and we form a quite a dynamic partnership where we align from a risk perspective, we get our partner to contribute some of the capital, but we can tap a whole wide range of these end user clients and actually provide the rental or use of the asset to the clients over the rental term. What's nice for the investor is the investor is actually investing in a business that has a movable asset underpin and a contractual cash flow from a client which pays for the use of that asset. So it really does provide a nice risk return profile for, for the client investing in ARIA. And then the other strategy I'll talk on is a strategy called Westbrook Capital Hospitality. This strategy is focused on, obviously on that hotel keeper definition to promote hospitality. And we have an exclusive partnership with the Capital Hotel Group in the strategy where we essentially buy apartments in his hotels, which we then run as a hotel. And essentially by providing with capital, we, we've been able to grow his business alongside of him in investing in hotels in Santon, Rosebank, Cape Town, wherever they may be. But th that is an exclusive partnership where we, we, we look to provide tourism and hospitality to, to the South African market with the Capital Hotel Group. The next two strategies are two strategies by the name of Westbrook STAC, S-T-A-C, which stands for Student Accommodation, and a strategy called Westbrook ALTO, A-L-T-O, which stands for Alternative Tourism. So maybe talking through the STAC strategy is really one where we identified student accommodation as an interesting space in South Africa for a number of reasons. I think first and foremost is, is the concept of governments looking more and more to co-opt the private sector in investing in student accommodation where there's a significant bed shortage in the country. And what that's led to is a situation where some students have to travel up to 100 kilometers a day simply to get an education. And so we really saw the student accommodation space as something which was a great sector to invest into in terms of the need for investment in the asset class. But also at the investor level, there's a very interesting proposition, which is that a student accommodation operation, number one, typically has a very high occupancy rate because there's just such a shortage of supply. And number two, it is a property backed investment whereby if the operation for whatever reason doesn't perform, the investors de-risked by having bricks and mortar at the underlying. So really what the strategy is in the student accommodation space is to partner with best of breed operators around the country where we effectively facilitate the role of strategic equity investor alongside the partners. Our partners are always required to keep a significant amount of skin in the game to promote alignment. But really what our Section 12J fund does is it provides these partners with capital to go and grow their businesses, whilst at the same time providing a dividend stream to our investors on a semi-annual basis and a property-backed attractive investment during the investment term. The final, opera, or the final business is a product called Westbrook Alto, and really what Alto is focused on is the hotel keeper theme within Section 12J. We focus the strategy primarily on Cape Town and the hotel tourism sector within Cape Town and we've gotten a little bit new age on the offering where effectively what Alto is, is we've created a decentralized hotel. You would ordinarily think of a hotel as a single building with a whole lot of rooms in it and a desk and concierge and so on. What Alto effectively is, is a fund that invests into residential property in the Cape Town area, be it sectional title or freestanding. And those properties through an exclusive relationship which we have with David Mayers from Quorum Leisure are run 365 days a year as Airbnbs. But what's interesting is we've taken the offering one level beyond a simple Airbnb where you move in and you simply live for the period of the time that you booked. We've gone and created a proper hotel offering so you can find all of the amenities you would normally get in a hotel except now 
in a single unit where, for example, our concierge desk is digital. You can phone or you can go on a tablet and take a look at the offering digitally as opposed to in person. The meal offering is also unique. You'll have, obviously, a breakfast selection provided uh, depending on the type of uh, hotel offering that you've booked into. But there's packages, there's add-ons, there's airport chauffeurs, there's a leisure offering, there's a business offering, and so on. Really with the focus of trying to promote the tourism sector in Cape Town through a Section 12J structure.